Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video I'm going to give you kind of like a public service announcement, a little warning, especially from my experience, and we're going to be focusing on the A2000 because these cards are so super efficient and they can be heavily modified, whether it's the copper plate from Cool My GPU or the shunt mod, these are all great things that you can do to improve your performance. However, there's a Cash 22 and I want to make sure you understand that. First off, Octaminer does not support or do not officially support any shunt mods to your A2000s. Secondly, they don't recommend it. So you're doing any of these mods at your own risk. If you look very carefully at these A2000s, you would notice something. That's right, we are using risers. We're using risers on a riserless board. Why is that? Well, I've been running these A2000s for a couple months now, right? They've been running great, no problems with the shunt mod. However, the one thing I've recommended to others that I did not do myself because I was lazy and out of time was not only shunt modding the front side of the uh, PCB, but the back side and then running a ground to a six pin connection somewhere on this board. And you can actually look and see. So there's a six pin going into the board right there. There's another six pin going right there. And I think there's an empty, empty slot somewhere right here that I could have tied into. I could have ran two ground wires, uh, did two more shunt resistors on the back side of these cards, and then run it to that six pin connector. But I did not do that, and that is my own fault. So, what did I do? Well, if you look very carefully, this slot right here is burnt out. That's why the card is not connected to it. It's completely gone. And that is my own fault and nobody else's fault. I was expecting the inductors, which you can see the little gray box down here but below the MSI card, the inductors to be able to handle it. And they were, they were doing a great job. The problem is I'm running outside of spec. This is, this is standard guys. PCIe is 75 watts. When you're running outside of 75 watts and something goes bad, you have no one to blame but yourself. And Octaminer isn't the only company that sells riseless motherboards. If you do this, you will void your warranty. If you do this and you burn up your slot, you can actually have other issues start to happen on your board. For example, that PCIe slot could have taken out two more with it or the next two around it. So it's, it's really just dependent upon a number of variables. You're playing Russian roulette, right? Because it depends on your thermal conditions, your environmental conditions. And I'm in a hot grow tent in hot Florida in a hot house and I'm pushing extra voltage through these cards through a PCIe slot. So I have no one to blame but myself. I completely accept that. I was able to get both cards back up and running using a U-bit PCIe by one to four USB splitter. No problem. But now I can't take this case, you know, if I went to build a shed or whatever, turn it on its side, stack them up, whatever, because these cards, I mean, I technically, I could do it, but I would only run 11 cards because I wouldn't be able to connect a card to this slot. It would only be 11 except that one. And I just, handicapped myself because of my own actions. And Miner On Demand and the gentleman from Asia recommended users to do shunt mod on both the front and back with the ground. They recommended that and I agreed 100% wholeheartedly with that, but I didn't do it. My laziness is costing me. So please know that Octaminer does not officially support nor recommend modding your A2000s and then trying to run it on their boards. You will void the warranty and therefore if you do burn up a slot, you won't be able to get a replacement. Now, now, just to wrap up, you might have a riseless motherboard that could last years with modded A2000s. You might have a riseless motherboard that lasts less than what mine has, which is a month and a half. But just know that some manufacturers may work with you and replace the board while some manufacturers won't. However, if you're running outside of spec, that is on you. If you kill your PCIe slot because you're shunt modding your A2000s and running above its rated configuration, that is on you and you can't get mad at the manufacturer for not allowing you to replace your board or voiding your warranty. What I would recommend doing is running these A2000s in an open air frame with good risers, good quality risers like gprisers.com and that will help you avoid burning up your riseless motherboard because not all of them are made the same and even if they're from the same manufacturer some models just perform better than others that's just the way it is 
and that's just to how it works and technology overall. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope it helped you out. Hope I warned some of you. Hope I gave you all a good laugh, whatever it may be. Let me know down in the comments and do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself. I'll catch you next one.